Hello everyone. Today I would like to talk about the biophysics project that I completed under uh, Mum the Mumbai University. So my job was to to do mathematical modeling of nanoparticle based drug delivery. So basically I had to make equations that would help us determine what happens to a nanoparticle that that is that has that has a protein corona when it is injected in the human body what are the various forces it experiences such as the viscous drag electrostatic interactions between uh, the surrounding medium and and how its uh, protein binding gets affected by these factors does it does it break down does it weaken do the do the bound proteins dislodge so that that was basically my job so here's the title of my project and given below are my contact details please feel free to contact me and uh, any advice that is forthcoming from your side and any guidance of sorts is welcome that being said let's move on here i would like to discuss about what what i've done so far so basically i've considered the dissociation constant how it varies across many different conditions that it may encounter once it is injected in the human body many researchers had considered separate conditions for example uh, perozzo and scapozza had only considered thermodynamic parameters while Campbell, Mac, Innes, and some others had only considered viscosity, uh, surrounding salt concentration, and temperature. Uh, and to give you a brief background, uh, your dissociation constant is is a measure of how of how well your protein has bound to the nanoparticle surface. So once a nanoparticle is projected in a biological fluid here a human body it bounds it it, uh, it it binds itself to surrounding protein molecules and uh, the way the proteins bind is almost like a reversible reaction so there's a reaction where the protein gets bound to the surface and there's a reaction where the proteins detach so for example if you if you obtain a very small kd value which means your protein is bound very tightly to the surface of the nanoparticle so what's notable about my work is that i have considered many of these factors as many as i could you know uh, compiling and uh, integrating all of different authors work uh, along with my own so i have assumed a linear relationship between the dissociation constant and viscosity of the medium because uh, there was a marginal temperature deviation in the human body and even the surrounding salt concentration had marginal effects on the dissociation constant and i have i have um, taken values from macinnis's research paper plugged them into my linear model for which of course i had made some equations and compared the two and then plotted them out on, on on graphs and finally i gave an explanation a possible explanation as to why linearity holds for some complexes some ligand protein complexes such as pabba trypsin and why it did not hold for complexes such as cyclin a2 rrlif and uh, the reason for different um, values of equation constants uh moving on here are some of the challenges i faced so basically i had an incomplete no a working knowledge of advanced mathematics much of which that was much of what was required was multivariable calculus and vector calculus to be honest i've learned calculus on my own so when i was in about 
एट्थ और नाइन्थ ग्रेड एंड आई लर्न मच ऑफ इट यूजिंग यूट्यूब एंड सम बुक्स दैट आई रेड बट स्टिल देर वॉज दिस गैप इन अंडरस्टैंडिंग एंड अप्लाइंग वैक्टर कैलकुलस टू सम ऑफ द मॉडल्स डेट आई मेड फॉर एग्जाम्पल आई हेड मेड अ डिफरेंशियल इक्वेशन डेट इवन आई कूड एंड सॉल्व सो दैट वॉज वन एरिया विच वॉज चैलेंजिंग एंड सेकेंड मोस्ट इम्पॉर्टेंटली देर वॉज अ लैक ऑफ एक्सपेरिमेंटल डेटा टू टेस्ट माई इक्वेजन सो सम ऑफ माई मॉडल्स आर येट आर स्टिल अनचेक्ड and uh, some of for some of my models for example the the linear model of the dissociation constant i just used values from a research paper such as macinnes's research paper and thirdly um i have a basic knowledge of nanoparticle binding processes since i am just a high school student and i i had to study a lot of research papers to have uh, to to actually write the background information in my research paper so that was that was something that took uh, much of my time and uh, lastly the i believe that we could do a better job if we used computer simulation because there were many collisions that were occurring when the nano conjugate was administered in the blood stream collisions with the wall of the blood vessels the various blood corpuscles and unlike a simple body projected in an asteroid field um these inter uh, there were uh, these collisions were not necessarily mechanical there were electrostatic hydrophobic and many un uh, factors that were unconceivable to me so so uh, talking of the scope for future research i believe that more investigation must be conducted on a biochemical level regarding the changes in the value of the dissociation constant which obviously requires more experimental validation and we should look at the 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 binding process more closely on a biochemical level you know like uh, considering the structure of the protein and and the uh, and the surface uh, what can i say the the surface affinity for uh, of of the nanoparticle to to hold on to these proteins and uh, and uh, we should definitely look at the multiple collisions that the nano conjugate undergoes by comp- computational simulation like we uh, mathematically model how how disease spread we should do the same for uh this project and uh, we should basically use more of advanced mathematics because what happened is in my model my model was um uh, maximum in two dimensions and what i feel was since blood is a non newtonian fluid we can consider stress acting on the st- surface of the nanoparticle as uh, separate tensors instead of the basic i j k vector components and uh, if we can by a four mentioned c- computer simulation find definitive conditions for the cleavage of protein substrate bonds uh, like we can if if we can provide a, a specific number like or or a f- specific value of energy lost by the nano conjugate we could actually calculate how much of the proteins get detached and we could predict what how much of the concentration of the protein is left when a nanoparticle reaches a certain area for say therapeutic reasons because that would completely revolutionize 
the world of nanoparticles and even and even medicine in the future maybe because even now we struggle to know if um, a therapeutic drug is administered in our body how much of it actually reaches the given area we, we still struggle to know how much of it is is delivered to the particular location so this is one area we re really need to focus on because this would actually revolutionize the way we look at uh, nanoparticle based drug delivery uh, moving on for uh, my uh, literary references I refer to about 25 to 30 different research papers some of which uh, some some of the notable ones are um, Ma Campbell Mac Innes as I stated before along with George Contopedes which have given me a lot of data on how the dissociation constant changes over viscosity temperature and the salt concentration of the medium and uh, it was very it, this paper was quite useful in in all of my studies and uh, secondly i would like to point out that the work of Remo Perozzo and Leonardo Scapozza on the thermodynamics of protein ligand interactions gave me a lot of useful equations and uh, some thermodynamical relations that were that that were unknown to me given my limited high school knowledge of physics and uh, finally uh, I refer to Mumbai University's own paper by Dr. Dongre. Uh, this was particularly useful to me as my physics is relatively strong, uh, well, stronger than my my bi biology. So this paper was actually the first paper I referred to before I even st uh, started writing equations for the mathematical modeling. And this helped me understand what I was dealing with quite well. So that's all about my research project. So I thank you all for listening to me patiently. I just uh, wanted to share whatever I've done over my summer break. And uh, so here's what's in store for me next. I'm going to apply to STEM undergraduate course in 2020. So in, in, in the meantime, please like, share and subscribe. Thank you.